Greetings, my name is Scott Newman and welcome to this Learning Byte, which involves Juno Space. And we're going to talk about changing the admin password expiration. Of course, changing the password expiration with the super account, if you're using the GUI, is a pretty straightforward process. You just have to go in and mess with the GUI enough to, to get it to where you want it to be, changing the password um, components and all that. However, those settings, those knobs and dials that you use within the, the web UI to change the uh, accounts, the passwords that you use to log into space, they do not work for the admin password. So let's talk a little bit about how that works in, in this learning byte. So the admin credentials are used to access Juno Space through the console. When you first set up Juno Space, you of course have to go through the console. You log in with admin and a password of ABC123. And immediately you'll be forced to change that password to something else. Um, it has to be somewhat complex, meet the requirements that it has set up there initially. And then you'll have a, a new password that you'll be able to use whenever you need to access the console of Juno Space. Now, for security reasons, that password is set to change, or essentially it's going to make you change that password every 70 days. So this is for security. This is obviously something that Juniper wants you to keep in mind and not go in and, and manipulate and change and make uh, something worse, right? Something longer, or in essence, disable. For security reasons, that it, it makes sense. But there are some reasons that you might want to change that setting. Now, obviously, probably if you're sticking in mind with security, one of the reasons that I just thought here on the top of my head that's not listed in the bullets is that you would want to perhaps make that 70-day time period shorter. Maybe you need to change that time period to be something like 30 days to be more compliant with your standards within your organization. In this case, we actually want to turn it off. We want to make it longer. So why would we want to do that? And again, in a production environment, we probably wouldn't want to do that. But maybe we're working in a lab environment where the 70-day password change is actually more of a hassle than anything else. Perhaps the other reason that we want to do that is, and this is really probably the name, the main reason why you would want to use this, is that you're working with virtual machines, and so you're going to be resetting snapshots quite frequently. And again, maybe this is happening in a in a lab environment. The reason why this becomes a challenge when you're working with snapshots and virtual machines is that uh, perhaps several months have gone by, not quite enough to, to hit that 70-day mark, uh, but uh, you have a snapshot, a snapshot that goes back quite a way. So for example, today is uh, the 8th of March, 2018. Perhaps I have a snapshot that goes clear back into November that I'm about to reset. Now, what happens is the clock on the space device thinks as soon as I reset, it thinks that it's November 1st. But then suddenly the NTP synchronizes, it jumps forward in time, and whoop, I need to change my password. It thinks right away that 70 days have, have passed, and uh, in, a sense, in essence, you need to change that password. So if you don't want to have to go through that hiccup every single time you reset a snapshot, that's where this particular tool becomes useful. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at how we do this. Now I've got a machine that's already up and running. I'm going to go ahead and bring it up. Hopefully you can see this okay. So I'm going to log in with my typical admin credentials. So I'm doing this again through the console. I'm obviously not in the web UI doing this. I'm going to go ahead and type in my password. Now you'll notice that when you log in here for the first time, it might take a second. And obviously it's taking a long second to think about it. But here it comes up. And I've got my menu here. Now you'll notice none of these options are listed in the menu that I can see. So I'm actually going to go into the shell. I'm going to click option 7. Again, I have to type in my password once again. You can see why maybe that's if you have to constantly change this password, that it would become a headache because you have to use it so much. Okay. So I am going to use the, um, the Linux command chage, I think that, or chage, or however you want to pronounce it, uh, to change the password here. Now, this command is basically a Linux command. It's not a space command. So I can actually use this, first of all, to see 
what we have going on with the account. And I could use this for any account, but for space, really, this is the only one that matters. So I'm going to put in the dash L, and then I'm going to type in the admin account. And then I'm going to have some results here. So the last password change here, let me bring this up again, was uh, February 14th. And so the password's set to expire April 25th. So I've got plenty of time here before I need to change it, but I actually want to change this from 70 days to, in essence, never again. So <laughs> again, not for, for so full disclaimer here for security reasons, we wouldn't necessarily want to do this, but for if we're you know using this in our own home lab uh, for our own experimental purposes, this might be one of the first things we'd want to change so that we're not constantly having to change our passwords. So again, here what we're going to do at this point is we're going to type in chage, and then we're just going to type in admin. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and start typing in the value. So I'm going to start changing things here right away. Minimum password age, zero. Maximum password age, I'm going to do 99999. And then I'm just going to assess, in essence, leave the rest of the elements at today's dates. So, or at the default settings, I should say. So I'm going to go ahead and type those in. And we're done. So now what we want to do is we just want to make sure that that worked. So we're going to do a, a dash L admin again here to just make sure. And our settings did go ahead and take effect just like we thought they would. So the password is not going to expire, at least not for 99,999 days. So that's it. That's how you change it. Now from this point forward, on this particular image, I'm not going to have to worry about changing the admin password again. So at this point, if I'm working with a VM, I'd probably go ahead and take my snapshot now and then go ahead and continue on with the work that I'm that I'm doing. So if you want to know a little bit more about how to manage Juno Space and how to manage things like this, uh, we do offer a three-day course on Juno Space called Juno Space Essentials. It'll cover a lot of those elements that we've talked about here uh, in this couple of minutes, plus a whole lot more. So thanks for joining me, and we'll catch you next time. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths, industry segment and technology-specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community, from forums to social media, join the discussion.